Hello Internet, Retro Kevin here. Today we're going to be cleaning up an N64 controller and replacing the joystick in it. Hey, here it is. If you're like me, this would be the controller you gave your little brother to play with. Let's change this from a Player 2 controller back to our favorite one to use. There's nine small Phillips screws to remove. I only point out seven here, but I'll remember the other two soon enough. These screws have a small amount of rust on them, so I'm going to be soaking them in this WD-40 rust penetrating solution. <laughs> Here's the two screws I forgot about. Now there's three more screws holding the joystick in. Here's two clips holding the Z button in place. We'll also disconnect it from the main board. This is the dirtiest of the button pads. Not too bad and nothing really looks all that worn out, so we'll keep them. I will have links in the description for a replacement joystick end pads. I'm going to be trying a new cleaner today. This claims to be safe on plastics and rubber. We'll just take this time and clean everything up thoroughly. This is just tap water to rinse everything off. I'm using compressed air to help dry everything. And this is a soft wire brush to remove the rest of the rust from the screws. And I'm going to be cleaning the controller board with denatured alcohol. Now this is the joystick replacement that I was talking about. You can see they're a little different from the OEM joystick. The cable is much longer. I've had issues with this zip tie here, so we'll just carefully cut it off.
Before putting all the screws back, let's test the Z button. If not done correctly, it'll feel spongy, or just not right. With the clear controller, it's much easier to figure out which cord is in the way. Alright, everything's back together and this is a lot better. <sighs> Wait a second. <laughs> ah, the A button moved while I was messing with the cords! Oh well, <laughs> let's fix it up. <laughs> okay, now everything's where it should be. And there we go. With very simple tools and a fairly cheap replacement part, we have our N64 controllers feeling like new again. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one.